Hey everybody, this is Scott. Today is Saturday. No, Sunday. August 23rd, 2024. And this is video number five of the G-Gage Chessy System SD40-2 project. I want to document some work that's been done in August. I'm getting quite a bit done. Very happy with it. So I want to point out some things. So the first thing is all three cabs are now re-lettered with proper B&O markings and proper road numbers. I am very happy with how this lettering turned out. I think it looks fantastic. It's vinyl. It's the first time I've used vinyl lettering. I'm a long time decal user, going all the way back to my HO scale days in the 80s when I was a teenager. This is my first use of vinyl. Um, I designed the lettering size and numbers and had them made by Del Tapero of G Scale Graphics. Um, I also use his uh, remote control system to run my trains out in the Garden Railroad. But he, uh, I worked with him to get the size and font correct, and he made the vinyl uh, decals. Uh, I, I don't know if you would call them decals or not. Vinyl lettering. They're press on, and they stick on, and I'm not going to put a sealer over it. I've read that most people who do vinyl lettering don't seal them with a clear coat, so I'm not going to. I think it will be fine without it. One little detail I did that I wanted to point out, one of those little things that probably no one would ever even notice if I didn't point it out, but I scraped off some of the hatches on the battery box. You can see one next to the six and next to the zero. There was one right where the seven goes and I scraped it off on purpose to make it flat and smooth so that the seven didn't have to go over that hinge. Um, I scraped it and then repainted, and I did the same with the seven there. The sixes and the zeros fit perfectly next to them, and also with the seven there. Um, you can kind of see where it was, but vinyl can be pressed around details, but I decided I just didn't want to bother with that. I think it would look nicer to just get rid of that. So I did. And no one will ever even notice that they're gone. If I hadn't told you, you would have never noticed. So one of those things. So that's very cool. I'm very happy with the lettering. They're done on both sides. So that turned out really nice. So the cabs are almost done. Um, I still have to do number boards. Um, I have painted in Chessie's ear. Chessie's ear is now yellow on all the long hoods. Chessie's ear, the orange stripe was going right through the middle of Chessie's ear. So that is fixed. I've got one of the three frame, uh, one of the three uh, Chessie system frames built with the components moved over from one of the donors. Um, I'll talk about the side frames in a second. Um, you can see I've got the side frames off of this one. The other two SD40s are up here on the shelf, still awaiting their fate. Um, they are going to have their trucks, electronics, and fuel tank donated to the Chessie System shells, shelves and frames. That's been the plan all along. So I've got one set painted. So this is the fuel tank and truck side frames from the third SD40. It was also a BNSF like this one. So yesterday, these truck side frames and fuel tank were all silver. They are now blue. I am very happy with this Krylon. I found this at Hobby Lobby. Krylon Ducker Selects Matte Deep denim blue. Very nice color match. Sprays on nicely. I've got a section on the web page about how Rust-Oleum failed and crazed, but the Krylon's very nice. And this is another detail part that I haven't 
given a shout out yet. These are 3D printed by Ole Valley Railcar. O L E Y. Ole Valley Railcar. They make very nice G gauge diesel detail parts. They make these side frames, which are the more modern, I think, phase two or three SD40 radiators. Uh, the stock USA trains have the earlier version. So I painted those, and they also uh, gave me some uh, uh, horns. I don't think I'm going to five five, find the five chime horn that the prototype chassis units had. Uh, I don't think those exist in G-Scale, but that's okay. Uh, these are nice horns. So I've got these painted. They look very nice. I'm going to install those soon. Uh, they're a tight press fit. I had to scrape away a little bit of the sides to get them to press in, but that's not a big deal. Um, I've had these over a year already, but I'm very pleased with these detail parts. I think they're very nice. Oh, and uh, also the yellow. The When I got rid of the lettering, the CNO lettering on the cab sides, I gave the cab sides a shot of fresh yellow, and that is this paint, which is Bear Premium Blazing Bonfire. And it's not actually super glossy. It actually matches the stock chessy yellow quite nicely. In fact, you can't even really, it's almost a perfect match. So I've been, uh, other than the Rust-Oleum fail, I've been pretty lucky with paint. I don't have a chessy orange yet. Um, I need to find a chessy orange for the handrails. I don't think USA Trains has a uh, chessy system orange handrails in stock. I'm actually going to call and ask, but they don't have them listed on their webpage. I've got two sets of handrails from these two SD40s, but I'm going to have to order a third set, and I don't think I'm going to get them in chessy orange. Not a big deal, so I'm going to have to pay handrails. So that is the, oh, oh, and one thing I wanted to mention about these truck side frames. So I put these trucks on the shell first and then decided I would remove the side frames to, for painting. So I took the side frames off. I've got them marked. You can see three and four. One and two is on the other side and the back of the trucks are also marked so they go back in the same place. But I had to cut some wires in order to do that. Um, and I've got wires that I'm going to have to put back together um, because I decided to leave the bearings up here. No, I'm not going to take the paint off. But anyway, the bearings are under this blue uh, tape. And there's a cut wire you can see right there. Um, I decided not to take those out because there's springs involved and I don't want to mess with springs. Um, it worked fine, and I'm going to use these... Wago lever nuts to put them back together, which are really nice to use. So it's not a huge deal that I had to cut four wires, but I think on these units, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to, when I disassemble these, I'm going to take the block and I'm going to leave the truck side frames on. I'm not going to unscrew them. And instead, I'm going to mask off the wheels and the block with plastic and blue painter's tape. I'm going to seal them all up and then paint the side frames on the blocks. I think that will end up being a little easier. So I'm doing, I'm going to try two paint methods. I'm glad those are already black. That is helpful. I'll just need blue. So that is just a little something I wanted to point out. This worked. I have to put them back together and put wiring back together. Not a huge deal. But that is everything for almost the end of summer, 2024. We're in late August. That is what everything looks like. I've got uh, the long hoods. The shells are nearly done. Um, I have to put the window glass back in. I have to design decals for the number boards. I haven't done that yet. Uh, that can be a winter project. So I'm hoping to have all the painting done while the weather is still nice. We've had some beautiful weather for painting. 
we've had 72 degree days and 50% humidity, which is uncommon for our Julys and Augusts. So I've been taking advantage of good painting weather. So that's everything. It's my Elko PAs that I've had 20 years already. Love my Elko PAs. Those are also USA trains. I'm a big fan of USA trains. They make nice G-scale locomotives. So that is an update on the project. I'll probably take a few pictures today, get this video and photos on the webpage. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, but not on the webpage, I'll put a link to the webpage. And I've also got links to my vendors that I'm using. Uh, G, -scale graph G Scale Graphics for vinyl and Ollie rail car for these lovely detail parts. So I'll have links to them as well. And I'm probably going to use some other decal providers. And I will, of course, link to them as well. So that is the update for now. All right. Thanks.